Ben Nevis, 4,413 feet, the highest mountain in Scotland and the UK. Scaffell Pike, 3,209 feet, the highest mountain in England. Snowdon, 3,560 feet, the highest mountain in Wales. Commonly known as a Three Peaks Challenge, I'll be doing this by myself, travelling and sleeping in the back of my van. Before the awful UK winter set in, I wanted to get this on my bucket list. The first mountain in was Ben Nevis. Eight hours of driving through the night to finally make it for sunrise. Ben Nevis or about to uh, ascend it. I think we're just on like the the path leading up to it and uh, this drizzling as you can imagine in October in the UK. Let's give our rain all day, possible snow on top but yeah I'm gonna do Ben Nevis uh, and then I'm gonna do Scaffell Pike in England and then Snowdon in Wales. And then that'll be the UK Three Peaks done. I've never done it before. I've only done Snowden, and that was like the easy track. So I'm just going to attempt them. I would have loved to do it in 24 hours, but the logistics of getting there, you know, driving, doing the mountains on your own, pretty difficult. Plus, you'd have to do one of the mountains in the dark. So maybe one day I'll do it with someone else, but on my own. I think I'm just going to I'm going to do a leisurely three days, one mountain a day. I'm in my van. Uh, yeah, so I can sleep in the back there, park up anywhere, rest, drive to the place and climb, so yeah, it's just good to be out. I got pretty lucky with the weather, there was a 12 hour gap before the snow started to fall on the summit. on your own. Have a look around. I think I'm near the summit, I don't even know. It's quiet and we're in the clouds so I should keep going. Whew, it's a dropping off that. I can just hear white noise, that's crazy. I'm gonna take a little rock as well. There you that one. Ben Nevis rock, let's go. Can't go in my pocket. There's someone up here, what the fuck? Shit myself in. I'm guessing this is the top. Oh, Out of 67 million people in the UK, to know you're the highest for them few seconds, it was a pretty cool feeling. I'm the highest person in the UK right now, that's mad. I rested that afternoon and then travelled during the night to Scaffold Pike in England. I was met with an instant view of Scaffold Pike. Wow. Mountain 2 in England then is right there. Scaffold Pike. This is the shortest climb, but apparently one of the steepest. Apparently, sort of red. Weather's actually looking all right at the the bottom. At the top, there's a few clouds, but not too bad. A few people in front, so I'm gonna have to catch them up, overtake them. 
hate it. It's uh, something about me that I hate. When I try to pace myself, I can't do it. I just have to overtake these people and it's just... Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> that there is the river crossing. So, because the river's overflowing that much, you're just gonna get wet. So, some old person behind me there, they're yeah, screwed. Absolutely screwed. Good luck to them. I've wanted to do this challenge for a while now, but I've only just got round to doing it. And you know what? <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Hardest part is traveling, but the views are great. Getting some exercise, fresh air, sunlight if it comes out. got for a snack then double decker Kit Kat chunky yorky or a brunch bar chocolate chip I don't even eat chocolate but I'm doing stuff like this it's just energy that's a good selection that though basically frozen frozen yorky bar You can only imagine on a clear day the views you must be able to see. With the second mountain summited, one remained, Snowdon. I love driving at night. The bright lights and music make it a great time to reflect on the day. Snowden. I've noticed already, the Snowden track, the main track, it's filled with so many people. This is definitely the busiest of the three. So, I've got my work cut out here. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stop, I'm just going to have to overtake people. <laughs> got my hat on to stop my hair going in my eyes. <sighs> yeah, it's making me sweat a bit more, but you don't understand, like, I should just get a hair cushion now, really. <laughs> but yeah, long hair, slapping in your eyes, it's not good, especially when it's wet. Weather, it's, uh, it's the last mountain, so I'm not going to put my waterproofs on, I don't care. I just take these off, all my wet stuff, and when I get into the van, just get into my dry stuff, so it doesn't matter. No waterproofs, because it just weighs you down. So, yep, keep going. All that. It's not too cold just yet. Wind's all right, but I think once I get around this corner, it's going to be pretty chilly.
stone from the summit, so let's get one from this place. There's three, three stones now. Huh? 